I suck. I'm wiped out. Why did you risk it? My position, everything at stake. What about your Westchester estate? As my lawyer, you should know that's borrowed on to the limit. But the money I gave you, didn't you make that note? I used that to cover my margins. Well, I can't raise another cent. What am I going to do with it? Concerns an estate of which I am the executor. That doesn't help my problem. No, I'm afraid not. Too bad you haven't a daughter. Someone young and irresistible. Why speak of miracles? Yes, you're right. It's ridiculous to discuss it, but the young man whose estate I'm representing is coming into an enormous fortune including the famous Stanhope Diamond. The Stanhope Diamond? Yes. Worth 250000 Must this most improbable person be a daughter? No. Not exactly. Rule B, card 20. Upper 10, car 27. Lower C, car 35. Car 248, lower B, car 40. Compartment B and C, car 107. See, by the terms of the will, this diamond heirloom, formerly worn by the mother, is to become the heritage of the boy's wife. His wife? Doesn't look like a criminal. No, and the sad part of it, conviction is not always proof of guilt. Please take them off. I can't stand the humiliation. Sure thing. Just a little legal formality to and from the train. That's my soul. No, I kind of hate to take you to the penitentiary.
Your name, please, for identification. We must have a record. Uh, my name is Joan Radcliffe. Joan Radcliffe, my niece. I'm Mrs. Radcliffe. I'm William Mortimer. <laughs> there, there. Everything is simply wonderful. Including yourself, my dear. Yes? The fossils, madam. More for you, dear. Marie? Perfect idea, William, adding a niece to my family. And one whose obedience you can depend upon. This, uh, Ronnie Stanhope arriving. In a few days, Rather. Joan Radcliffe, sponsored by you, our trouble should be eliminated. My only hope. Well, you're a positive revelation. Mrs. Radcliffe has been so kind. Please. Call me out, Marion. Yes, you have to get used to that. Oh, run along. You're embarrassing my niece. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Happy? Yes. But it's also unreal, Mrs. Auntie. Oh, forgive me. I'll try and remember. Come now, smile. Joan Radcliffe must be happy. Why should you do all this for me? Because I believe in you. Isn't that enough? Isn't that a fugitive? Oh, but I am innocent. Of course you are. Joan Lane is no more. As my niece, you must take your place. Happiness is the heritage of everyone. Take it, my dear. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks a lot. You're doing fine, Miss. I think I'll try the bone today. Be careful of those precious bones, darling. I shall. Perhaps I'd better accompany you, Miss. No, thanks. I feel rather expert. So long. You've done a remarkless thing.
Are you hurt? How dare you? Oh. Well, I'm, I'm awfully sorry. Is there anything I can do? You've got enough. Oh, permit me. No, thank you. <laughs> Uh, can I give you a lift? No. But I'm afraid your horse is gone. I suggest you take a hint from the horse. I can't leave you like this. Well, I can. <laughs> You by train. Oh, I changed my mind and motored up. Well, uh... Hence? Hey. Thanks. It's just time to change, my boy. Well, we're invited to weekend at the Radcliffe home. Radcliffe? Yes, he's a charming hostess. And she has a niece that's, uh, breathtaking. <laughs> well, it's too late for that. You see, I've met the girl. You mean, uh... Oh, no, no, no. Not the girl you mean, but, uh, you know, I've lost my breath, so to speak. Afternoon. How shall I dress? In your very best, my dear. It's in honor of Mr. Ronald Stanhope, an intimate friend of Mr. Mortimer. And I've heard he's very handsome. But I've already found for a young man. What? Oh, uh, technically, so to speak. Are you hurt? I doubt if I'll ever be the same. What happened, dear? Well, a gentleman frightened my horse with his motor. He was no gentleman. But he was handsome. Oh, Mrs. Lovely. I'm so glad you've come. Mrs. Radford. Mrs. Benson. My niece, Joan Radford. How do you do? How do you do? My son. Oh, <laughs> marvelous. <laughs> I, I mean, delightful. Uh, in fact, he means good. From now on, life takes a new interest. Be warm, darling. Marion, dear. Very simple, charming creature. Princess entertains with feet of magic. Behold, a niece. And such a niece that I'm still bewildered. Well, she's been my niece for all the years the young thing can boast of. But I have never seen a bird of her before. Nor I. Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. She's been schooled abroad. Ah! <laughs> oh, boy! Look at Benson's speed! We'll have to stop that. I should say so. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're alone... <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. My mistake. Where there's honey, flies will gather. Well, you might have said bees. Bees! bees. Flies. <laughs> yes, she's been schooled in France. Fancy, a college campus in Paris. <laughs> you know, Joan has a, a... Pardon me, may I call you Joan? Why, of course. Thanks. Thanks. Did you do the Riviera last season? Uh, why, no. But I'm planning to do it this season. Mm, that cancels my trip to Florida. My Honolulu trip's off. No hunting for me in Canada. Well, since you're all changing your minds, I shall too. Oh. oh.
Joan, there's something I want to tell you. That may be unanimous. Boys, you can tell me on the Riviera. Brace yourself, my boy. You're about to meet your water line. Yes, please. Come on, Ronnie. Well, don't bother. I'll park it. Morning in again. You would. May I take this opportunity to fall for you? May I fix the mud puddle? A big one? Just so it's gooey. Oh, I'm really sorry. How sorry? May I suggest we go to some safe place to tell you how sorry? I suppose it's all right to accept your apology. Well, I assure you, it's most ladylike. Hello, Marion. Where's your precious car? Why do you insist on parking your car? Not a bad setting for a romance, eh? Very well done, Marion. Where's Joan? Wherever the boys are. Careful. I'll play to your numbers. <laughs> then I'm forgiven? You're on probation. Splendid. I'll report to you hourly. That won't be necessary. Say, what's your name? Mine's Sandy. Ronnie Sandy. I'll have to be gone. Oh, now, don't go, please. Let's talk a while. But there's lots of pretty girls here. Not for me. They'll be expecting you, particularly Joan Radcliffe. Oh, you know her? But slightly. She's not so hard to look at. Oh, she's been overrated. <laughs> I figured she'd be a washout. Oh, but she's not so bad. Well, tell me then. Is she tall, short, neat, or fat? What? Not really. Oh, but she's a good girl. She can help me. You'll find her amusing, though. Well, a sense of humor or something. Oh, she hasn't laughed. Well, you said amusing. I meant to look at her. That's enough. Sit down. But you must be presented to her. Oh, no. I believe in putting unpleasant things up as long as possible. Well? On the car, but not running. I've sent an SOS for Joan. If anything should interfere with our plans. Ronnie must become interested in Joan. Anyway, she'll do as she's told. Find him. Did you find Joan? Yes, I traced her to a vine and flower-covered bower. But did you tell her I wanted her? There was another party telling her something. Who? A man. Oh, naturally. I must be going. Oh, have a heart. Are you sure you don't want to meet Joan? After your description, I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon, young man. Have we ever met? Why, uh, no. Uh, you're a guest, aren't you? This is the gentleman I told you about. You know, the accident and everything. Oh, come along, my dear. Accidents can't always be avoided, but there's no need for warning. Ronnie! Thank goodness you're in safe hands. Ronnie? Yes. You've all met, haven't you? Well, <laughs> why, no. Well, this is Mrs. Radcliffe, our hostess. Charmed. You are a guest, a most welcome one. Thank you. And by this time, uh, you two, of course, know each other. 
it might be well to introduce us. Oh, well, uh, Ronnie, this is Joan, the niece of Mrs. Radcliffe. Joan Radcliffe? What? Amazed. I, I mean, uh, that is agreeably so. <laughs> Telephone, madam. In parking? Long distance. All right. Will you excuse me? Yes. Come along, William. We've interrupted them long enough. <laughs> now I ask you, was that nice? We're even for the mud puddle. Sheriff's office, madam. The sheriff's office? What shall I do? Let him do the talking. Yes? What is it? This is right, Cliff. I'm calling you regarding a... She was my prisoner on the night of the wreck. I thought perhaps you might shed some light on the matter. Shut up. I'm not in the habit of sheltering criminals. I am not assuming that you are, Mrs. Radcliffe. My investigation shows that you acknowledge to the trainman a certain Joan Radcliffe as your niece. I assure you, Joan Lane and Joan Radcliffe are not the same person. Mm -hmm. They're after her. Now, but listen, do you think that... Uh... Oh, I'm... Certain I convinced him. Turn up anything, Chief? Nothing that is factory. Well, there's no record of a railroad ticket covering her niece. Your head down, your eye on the ball, and follow through. I, I think I can do it all right. No, I think I'd better show you again. Keep your head down, your eye on the ball, and follow through. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Go ahead. What a day. Oh, oh, oh. That's what he said. So 
fun. Frogs have fun. No, spring has a lot of magic. It's the most beautiful... And the most dangerous time of the year. Oh, don't be so earthly, Joan. Relax. Put your fancy free. Doesn't one need a move? Now, with these surroundings, frogs, birds, flowers, why, well, the air's just filled with... Mosquitoes. No. Romance. Dream stuff. Oh, give me a sort of make-believe reality. That's it. Will you join me? Can you guarantee a safe and sane return? Nope. I can't promise that. You may end up in my arms. Then I won't go. Joan, I love you. No, no. You mustn't say it. But then. Don't let me take them away. Stop that troublesome thing. Thanks for scattering them. Hold that picture. Please. I mean it. Your eyes. There's a moonbeam glistening there. Don't be poetic, Ronnie. And why not? I have the moon, the girl, and the inclination. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Come to me. Not at all, Mr. Mortimer. Well, we were just gaping at the moon. Yes, yes, of course. Well, Ronnie, since you've received your inheritance, how does it feel to be rich? Well, why, I hadn't uh, noticed any unusual sensation. Well, uh... Perhaps this may record something. As your executor, this completes my surrender. By way of legal technicality, it was necessary for me to hand this to you in person. It's sort of, sort of an heirloom. It's really too big to be worn. It's more than that, my boy. It's to become the heritage of the future Mrs. Stanford. That's right. No, it's a sort of a family tradition, you know. It is beautiful. Why don't you have Joan try it on? Oh, I wouldn't think of it. And why not? Because. Oh, now that's not a good reason. Don't, Ronnie. Oh, come on. No. You won't wear it. Why? Because I'm not the girl. You mean... Don't, Ronnie. Don't say it. Let's go on, just as we were. I understand. Just as we were. Oh. 
She's fainted. Glass of water, quickly. Joan. Joan. Oh. They found me. Who? Who, dear? He's come to take me back. You mean... Uh... The sheriff. I saw him through the window. It's just your nerves, dear. No, no. It's true. You must get her to her room. Anything serious? Nothing, thanks. Okay. You mustn't talk, dear. You understand, Joan? No talking. Take her to her room. Oh, I'm all right. But, Joan, please, I'll stay. I'll answer the door. I beg your pardon. Is this Mrs. Radley? Yes. And you? I am the Sheriff of Easterly County, madam. Does the county matter? Perhaps not. It accounts, though, for my visit here this evening. Well, go on. Joan Lane and Joan Radcliffe are one and the same. I can understand the impulse which prompted your act. And I admire it. You will be pleased to know that the girl is innocent of the charge held against her. Innocent? You mean... you're not going to take her with you? That she's free? Yes. Another has confessed that the girl was framed. I felt it best that she should know. That is why I am here. This is good news. Rest assured, I shall give her the information when she's recovered from uh, a temporary illness. Then my mission here is fulfilled. Perfectly, Sheriff. Good evening. Good night. Has he gone? Yes, dear. There, there. Oh, I can't stand it. I've warded off all suspicion. Oh, you don't understand. Come, dear, you mustn't give way like this. I seem to be hiding from myself, living a lie. Oh, I'd better give myself up and go on as a chief. Listen, darling. You mean to be fair. But what about those who have befriended you? Think of my position. Joan Radcliffe has been accepted as my niece. I don't want to hurt you. You've been wonderful. I'm desperate. I'll take you away. Far from all danger and suspicion. And you shall continue as my niece. I've grown too fond of you to give you up. How can I ever repay you? By just being happy. Joan, well, she's all right. She'll have that pretty smile back in the morning. Well, I'm glad of that. I've just received an important message I'd like to discuss with Mr. Mortimer. Ronnie, would you mind taking Joan in the library for a moment? Why, not at all. I'd take Joan any place. Well, what happened? Joan is innocent. Another has confessed. He came to tell her. But he didn't? No, I saw to that. Then if she never gets this information... Exactly. The Stanhope Diamond will still be the first payment on my silence. Yes. We must get her away before the news spreads and she learns the truth. Yes, but what about Ronnie? He'll go wherever she does. Riding tomorrow? Tomorrow's another day. Yeah. Tomorrow has a habit of being another day. <laughs> Great. Now keep smiling. I've bad news, Ronnie. I've just learned my California state is in an awful tangle. Joan and I must leave tomorrow. California? Yes. Did Joan tell you? Oh, I know. Uh... Oh, but isn't it a coincidence? Uh, you see, my western interests need attention, too. 
Oh. But of course, uh, Ronnie didn't want to go. Well, business is business. Well, why not make a party of it? Great. That is, if Joan doesn't mind. Why, Joan would be delighted, wouldn't you? Why, yes. I was just thinking, never look back, keep your thoughts ahead, and keep smiling. Right. I remember your subscription to the letter. Send it here. Come in. Hello, Ronnie. Hello. What's the matter? Anything wrong with you and Joan? No. Why? Well, she's on the observation platform. Joan, as the most intimate member of my family, I'm going to take you into my confidence. You can always count on me. I hope so. I've been speculating in the market. You know, stocks and bonds. Yes. Well, I've just received word that I'm practically penniless. Penniless? Ronnie, you're a fool. It's your money Joan holds against you. I wish I could believe that. It's true. Joan has a lot of pride. It never occurred to me that way. What can I do about it? Tell her you love her. She already knows that. Then confound it, take her. I know she loves you. You really think so? I'm sure of it. You poor dear. Using your vernacular, we're both poor dear. That is, temporarily. Temporarily? How do you know what I mean? Ronnie's crazy about you. Has been from the very beginning. But Ronnie, Ronnie's worth millions. Not forgetting that diamond. But there are formalities. I understand. I have a horrible headache. I think I'll go and lie down. You stay here, darling. Opportunity may take my case. They brought along their wedding present. I wouldn't count on them. You probably got a best pocket full of dimes and a ticket to Niagara Falls. Is that place still running? I think I'll turn this. Oh, don't go, Joan. It's early. But I really should. It's pleasant out here. There's a moon and everything. That's why I must be going. Oh, be serious, won't Look, let's not love while they're romantic. We have ours. Harris, you 
growing cold. But dear. Joe, I love you. Please, Ronnie. Don't you care for me? I'm sorry you, you asked me that. Oh, say you do. I, I can't say that. You mean? I mean, Ronnie, that it's impossible. I can never marry you. And why not? Please, Ronnie, you're hitting my arm. because you don't care. Congratulations, can wait. shouldn't be difficult. He has it with him. Think it over.
Mary. Yes, ma'am. But dear, how long do your misunderstandings live? Anne Stefan. Others are putting it off as well. Hand it over, lady. Just hitting me with a piece of this train. What's the trouble in here? There's been a robbery. A valuable jewel's been stolen. Robbery? Valuable jewel? Now, this is no ordinary matter, Conductor. The Sam Hope diamond is worth a fortune. 
two men accosted Mrs. Ratcliffe and got away. But the robbery occurred before that. That's right. Now that you mention it, it was stolen while I was asleep. Someone took it. Who? Where's Joe? Robbed, Understand, they... Hope Diamond. I thought you'd know something about this. Well, don't be ridiculous. I've offered it to Jones several times. Well, this is beyond me. Conductor, you may take me. Yes, why don't you take everybody? I'm quite willing. But you might save time by beginning with Mrs. Radcliffe. You mean... Please, this is getting to be a farce. Search me. Well, coming from you, that's good. A thief, an escaped convict. Have we all gone mad? No, it's the truth, the only possible. Joan, it isn't true. Please, Lonnie, I'm tired of making you. Is this the case with the police? I'll turn it over to them at the next stop. The first thing in the morning. Please, I want you all go to your rooms. Safer with me. No one will ever suspect you, Mary.
Thing again? I can't get Mrs. Radcliffe out of my mind. It was sporting of her to tell you the truth before she went? Yes. Follow me. We'll soon be as good as new. And then, for our honeymoon. No. Then back my mother. Speaking of honeymoon, where shall we go? On a boat. And leave the Stanhope Diamond at home. <laughs> 